What a soggy start to the day. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but right now it is freaking freezing outside. Today was the first day we actually had snow here in Delaware this like fall slash winter. So that, uh, yeah, that's the thing. We actually have a pretty interesting video idea here for this video today. Right now we gotta stop into Walmart. I promise it's gonna be super quick. <laughs> It is officially yam season. Now I know it feels like, I mean, I guess we were just in Walmart like two videos ago. It feels like it was only yesterday. It's hard to stay out of here when they just like have everything I could possibly need here, you know? Oh no, not this time. Pro tip, always check to see if these things are alive and juicy. Oh yeah, that's a good batch. Smelly jelly crab attractor. I wish I could attract, I, I definitely did not go crabbing enough this year. Let's see if anything changed over here. They still got the big eel. Looks like they have a lot more eel stuff. I don't remember seeing all this last time hmm still big hole in the wall this right here is something interesting that i've never really seen in walmart before this is a fish bat this is like literally just a bonk fish but yeah it seems like everything i mean i was just here like two videos ago but it seems like everything is pretty much the same i always have to check the fishing section when i come here all right back to the mission what is that sound dude i think what we're looking for here is going to be somewhere in the toy section shout out to simba hmm yeah all right this might take a little bit of search in here Oh my gosh, that is so much smaller <laughs> in person than I thought it was going to be. All right, y'all, so this thing right here, micro, tiny little metal cookware. This might sound crazy. This is a toy for, does it say age? All right, yeah, I don't see an age listed. Pretty much the plan here today, the mission, we're going to buy this thing. We're going to take it out to the water. Hopefully, we're going to be able to catch some fish. Oh my gosh, dropping the worms. And with those fish, we're going to catch and cook them in this tiny little playset. set. That sounds crazy. It's going to be insane if this actually works. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to like try to do it. Yeah, it's really interesting weather outside today. Hopefully, we can catch some fish. I feel kind of creeped out on this aisle, so we're going to get out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, along with it being like freezing outside, like literally freezing, there are gusts of wind today up to like 25 miles per hour. So that is a thing. Successful trip to Walmart. Hopefully, we can catch some freaking fish in this weather, man. Fishing gods, I need you. All right, so I just checked the weather here right now. It feels like 24 degrees. I think the actual temperature, it's 36 degrees, but it feels like 24. So the real feel tonight's probably gonna be like in the teens. This is, this is getting cold here, man. Super, super windy. As I said, it's like 20 mile per hour, 25 mile per hour wind. So as I said, the goal here is gonna be just to try to catch some fish. With those fish, we're gonna be kind of doing a micro cooking, fishing, catch and cook challenge. And really quick, before we attempt to catch some fish, I gotta give a shout out to Anthony for this video idea. So thank you, Anthony, for the suggestion. It's gonna be interesting to see if we could actually pull this off. But yeah, man, if you guys do have any, you know, suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave them down in the comments below or, you know, send me a message on Instagram. All I gotta say, man, if this works, this is gonna be so sick. Oh boy. All right, so let me show you kind of what we got rigged up here. We kind of have a little drop shot with a tiny little, I think it's a size 10 hook. So we got the words, we have a dream. Hopefully we can pull this off. That's, I'm gonna be fishing like right over there. I feel like I'm a bit unprepared for this. This is so, like, it is so cold. All right, so let's get right over here. I'm not gonna lie, we were kind of spoiled here in Delaware in the fall. It was like actually not that, like it was pretty warm here. So this like actually fall slash winter weather coming out of nowhere. Oh, feel it in the bones, man. All right, so just a quick scan here. It looks like the water is actually pretty clean. Definitely a lot of tree limbs, a lot of leaves, lots of foliage. So as y'all can see, this little spillway flows right through here. It's actually kind of like a little deep channel that runs right through there. Usually, I mean, every time I've come to this spot, that's kind of where the fish are chilling, especially this time of the year. I don't know. I mean, it's like that time of the year, man. Struggle season here in Delaware where it's just yeah, it's just not that easy to catch fish. Crack these thick boys open. Fellow Delawareans will tell you that it's like ultralight season when it gets this cold. Ooh, that's a nice one. You know what I mean though? It's just kind of pan fishing season. Bass are just like not really biting. So yeah, I mean, your options here for freshwater to kind of get severely limited. That's why I was saying in a couple of videos ago, I want to travel a lot more in these next couple of weeks, these next couple of months. So if you guys like have any places that are really good for fishing, especially ice fishing, I've never really like really given ice fishing a shot. So yeah, hit me up on Instagram if you guys want to take me out like wherever you guys live, if it's pretty good or if it's warm or whatever. There we go, man. Just a little squirm night crawler just the cleanest hand of them all there she goes give her a little shot right there hopefully like <laughs> i don't have too much backup tackle so let's not get snagged here fix this up real quick i as i said man I, oh i actually just got bit right away holy i was gonna say i don't know if there's any fish that are even in here or that are gonna bite i don't think he took it oh there we go there we go there we go is that a fish? Oh, first fish of the day. Oh man, that's actually a decent sized bluegill. Let me tell you, man, with this weather, wow, that is a, dude, 
This fish is so cold. Wow, he engulfed that worm. I gotta get my pliers. But literally, for this weather, it could be a bluegill buffet for all I care. This is just, oh my gosh, it is freaking cold, dude. At this point, a fish is a fish. Whew. All right, y'all. So there we go. First fish of the day, little bluegill. This is gonna be perfect for a little micro set. We're gonna keep this guy for later. Let's go see if we can get anything else down there, man. That was actually pretty freaking quick that we caught this guy, too. Dude, what is good with me? I feel like a snowflake now when it comes to this cold weather, man. My hands are chilly. Like, I almost can't feel it. I don't know, man. I've been out of this cold weather way too long we've been i guess really spoiled here in delaware okay that's a better fish what is that second fish of the day wow that's putting up a way better fight what is that Woo! all right second bluegill of the day where the heck did i put those pliers they are literally choking oh my gosh chill buddy that is the one thing about using a small hook these guys are devouring it all right there we go Woo! second fish of the day second bluegill of the day but just like don't get it twisted man this is not just any normal bluegill this is a symbol of hope fish are still you know biting even when it's freaking freezing outside man some fish are still to be caught all right let's go put this guy with the other one i think that should definitely be good for the catch and cook as far as food goes Two nice little bluegill wow that is so <laughs> dude it is so chilly that breeze is just choking my hands all right give this guy the one rod special we're gonna get back out there. Hopefully there's some more fish just kind of chilling around. But I mean, if not, this catch and cook is still gonna be possible. All right, so we're gonna keep throwing this around. If all I'm catching is bluegill, I'm probably not gonna show you guys that. But uh, yeah, I don't even know if there's even gonna be any hungry bluegill still down here. This is gonna be kind of interesting because this is gonna be the second, no, this is the third time ever. Oh, I think I just got bit right there. This is gonna be the third time ever that I'm eating bluegill. It has been like over a year since I last had it. From what I remember, is that a fish on there? No. From what I remember, it's definitely one of my favorite freshwater, and I think just fish in general. Oh, dude, I think I just got smacked right there. Um, oh, yep, stop, snag. Wow, look at this. It's a lily pad graveyard right here. Super, super shallow. It's probably the shallowest I've ever seen this, actually. Aw, oh, dude. Oh, wait, is it? I cannot tell exactly what this is. Oh, buddy, it's a lot more yellow down here. I don't know. I think that's just normal bluegill still. Get back there, boy. Oh, my God. That is literally so freaking cold. Oh, my God. This whole, like, section kind of blocks the wind off. It's coming in from that way. So where we were standing, we were, like, pretty protected. Never know, though. Maybe there's something pretty cool hiding over here. Oh my gosh, man. Two gorgeous bluegill right there. Just complete bluegill buffet here today. But it is all good, man. We have some lunch. Oh my gosh. So I just opened this thing. There's still some stuff in there. But look how tiny. Dude, look at <laughs> Spatula, uh, like a little ladle. Little pan number one. I don't know if you guys can actually tell. Like, look at how freaking tiny that is. That's so funny. I got a little pot. Um, what the heck are these things called? A little drainage. Uh, colander? Dang, man. We should have made some bluegill pasta. But then here we have... A little uh, oh, like a little hot pad, like in case it's hot. We got a lot of stuff here. Wow, this is like a fall wonderland. So I'm not going to complain. Like, yeah, all we really managed to find were bluegill. We caught a lot more off camera. I didn't want to like bore you guys with bluegill after bluegill. All I'm saying, man, for this weather, just to be able to go out and catch fish like that, it is. It's just I don't know how to explain it, man. It's just a good feeling. It's fun. Really looking forward to this hot little catch and cook. Hopefully, the heat kind of warms us up a little bit. All right, this looks like a perfect. A little posting up spot. We got some rocks. So this is gonna be our source of heat. This is gonna be the little pot we're cooking in. More on that in a second. What else do we have in here? We got our source of uh, like flame. This is gonna be essential today. We got the little spatula. This company actually sent me a bunch of seasonings. If you guys ever wanna send me anything, my PO box is always in the description below. I really do appreciate everybody who does send me stuff. By the way, I'm not sponsored by this company. I'm not getting paid to promote their products or anything. High Mountain Seasonings. They sent me over a gourmet fish seasoning a uh cajun cowboy see ooh, that sounds good cajun cowboy seasoning and lastly a salmon seasoning alaskan salmon stuff first thing we're going to be doing here actually i don't know if these are like like i don't know if you can eat out of this again this is like a toy playset. i'm really curious like what's going to happen when this heats up i don't know if it's going to melt i don't know if it's going to explode so what we're going to do here to kind of make this more so we don't croak we're going to be lining it with some tin foil here i'm so excited for this man just freaking would you look at that right there cooking up a little bluegill buffet on a nice cold day this dog in the background is going bonkers All right, so this is the one bluegill right here. Beautiful little fillets. This is not the way to get like the most meat out of a bluegill, but 
It, I mean, it's boneless and it's probably the easiest, especially if you're cooking it in a little micro pan. We're gonna use, you know, a good amount of butter. Oh yeah, yeah, this is gonna be so good. All right, just popped open this Cajun cowboy seasoning. Ooh, it smells pretty good. It smells Cajun-y. I feel like this is gonna be a little spicy. Oh yeah. That looks real good. All right, let's take this little guy right here. Oh boy. Oh, boom, right, dude. Oh no, my spatula. This is so, this is gonna be so sick, man. Come on, buddy. All right, number two, boom, one more little piece. Bam. Hey man, so far it is smelling real good, it is looking good. I don't know if that is melting or not, but it smells freaking good, man. Actually, it's probably not a good idea. I don't have like a hot, of admit thing besides that little toy one we got. Probably not a good idea to mess with this. Come on, spatula, you can do it. Oh, you're looking good. All right, that, that should not, honestly, I mean, it's not that much fish, but it really should not take that much longer. That is a freaking beautiful sight. This is so funny, this is actually working, man. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. I know it's not like the craziest fishing we've ever done, but yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot of cool stuff coming up in the near future. <sighs> Dude, it's freaking chilly out here, man. The sun keeps going down. It's getting chillier. We got a plane flying overhead. We got some dogs barking over there. And most importantly, we got some bluegill cooking up. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I think this is, that looks pretty done to me. I'm gonna leave it on for like 10 more seconds. All right. And I think that just about does it. Let me make sure it's off. Do not tip it. Tiny micro cookware. Like this is like the tiniest catch and cook of all time. Beautiful fall colors, man. Beautiful fall wilderness. All right. So we're going to let that cool down just a little bit. In the meantime, let's check out these spices. So this is the Cajun Cowboy. Again, not being sponsored, not literally like not getting any money from this. But again, if you guys do want to send anything to my PO box, whether it's letters, artwork, seasoning, the address is always down in the description below. I really do appreciate all you guys who send me stuff. Let's check this out real quick. I'm putting it on the back of my hand. Oh, wow, that is, oh, that is good. I don't know how to describe that flavor. It's a little bit spicy. Definitely really smoky. I really like that. All right, really quick, we got the gourmet fish seasoning. Again, let me just kind of, oh, kind of like a little lemon peppery taste going on. Dude, that is really good. I could definitely see that being good on some trout. All right, it says this one is excellent for all game fish. Oh, it's interesting. I mean, to be honest, they're probably all better on fish, not my freaking hand. All right, let's go in here. I think that it's only right to go in here with a little spatula. Oh yeah. I don't know if this thing is technically safe to eat off of either. There we go, man. Cajun seasoning on the bluegill that we caught here today. Fresh caught bluegill. As I always say, man, it's hard to beat, you know, fish that you just caught freshly yourself. Like it's such a rewarding feeling. All right, smells good, man. It smells like some Cajun fish. Bruh, we did it, guys. It's a little bit like, it's not as hot as probably would expect from fresh cooked fish. Yeah, I mean, it's freaking cold out here. Literally so freaking good, man. I really think bluegill is just one of those fish that is underrated when it comes to catching cooks and just, you know, eating in general. And I mean, you guys know my feelings on bluegill, man. I feel like they're just underrated fish in general. We're bringing it back, man. Hashtag justice for bluegill. I feel like a lot of people, you know, when ice season comes around, they're happy to catch bluegill. But I demand justice for one of the most tastiest and aggressive species in our waters. Probably gonna bring the other bluegill home. I don't know if you guys could tell or not. It is getting dark. All right, man, for the conditions that we had, that was actually a pretty good time out there. It actually got really dark and I couldn't do the outro out there. But as always, thank you guys so much for all the support. It truly does mean the freaking world to me. If you guys did enjoy this video, if you guys wanna see more Catch Cooks, make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you do enjoy my videos, but you are not already, make sure to go down there, click that subscribe button. And if you never wanna miss an upload from me, go down there, hit that notification bell. Shout out again to Anthony. This video idea was his idea. Yeah, man, I thought it turned out pretty cool. Like world's smallest catch and cook with like little tiny pots. They actually work too and that bluegill was so freaking good. Yeah man, as always, thank you guys so much for all the support. All I gotta say man, let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.